Hey you guys, good morning. It is time for your health check. Look, for those of you who suffer from migraines, you know how debilitating these can be. Uh, but I want you to check this out. There's some new research that shows stress-induced migraines, also called episodic migraines, really are on the rise during this pandemic, up nearly 40% from December and January. And even when the numbers dipped, in May and June, you can see in this chart, those who experienced migraines at home are still far higher than normal. The data collected by Migraine Buddy shows people in Texas in particular saw huge spikes in these stress migraines since the early days of COVID-19 and a national emergency declaration in this country that was in mid-March. Now, in case you haven't heard, Migraine Buddy is the most used migraine tracking app in the world. So basically you can open it up, log your symptoms for your doctor, and it really does help to establish patterns. So for instance, are your sensations always in the morning or always on one side of your head? Or are they generally triggered by a type of weather or food, sound or light? All of these features in the app are free. The idea being that doctors will be able to move quickly and accurately to pinpoint the problem offer a proper diagnosis, and then subsequently a treatment. Using the treatment for migraine patients is very difficult. Mm -hmm. You need to have a proper recording of what has been happening to the patient to be sure what it is. To be able to come and, and in three months evaluate if the treatment you gave is the right one. Now to treat migraines, depending on what you're going through, doctors may suggest medication, ice packs may offer some relief, more sleep, less screen time, and even acupuncture. That really did help me, to be honest. Um, now when it comes to preventing migraines altogether, experts say resting your body, reestablishing good nutrition and exercise habits, and rebalancing your life may be key. So, uh, you know, it's really kind of interesting for me to say this coming to you from TV, but please do remember, you don't need to stay glued to every bit of information that comes out, every uh, you know, screen, every phone, every television set, and all the information. I know it's a big chunk of our days, but uh, do take time to go outside if you can, to close your eyes even, that helps to just uh, sort of lessen the sensory kind of flood to this part of our heads. Um, a little bit can help a lot every day.